going on guys? Today we are in sunny Florida and it's a great day out and it's an awesome time to do some fishing right now. In the winter time, a few different species of fish run through here. We've got some black drum, red drum, flounder, uh, sheephead, all sorts of different fish. Today I want to talk to you about some of the rigs that I've been using here that I, I've really found some success on. The first one is a float rig. This thing rocks. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how to use it. So oftentimes the high-low rig gets snagged on the bottom because of the nature of this rig. Sinker is at the bottom, the hooks are at the top. Now the sinker, if there's a lot of rocks and a lot of structure down there, the sinker sometimes gets stuck in there and it's kind of a pain to deal with a rocky bottom or a bottom full of snags. So that's when the float rig really excels. By using the float rig, it floats over top of all of that while still keeping your bait in the strike zone. And the awesome part about the float rig is that there is an adjustable bobber stopper. So you can have it lower or higher depending on where you wanna fish. So here's my leader line right here. And here's the bobber stopper that comes with the bobber, okay? Bobber stopper, then a bead, okay? This bead cannot go past the bobber stopper. And then comes the bobber. The bobber cannot go past the bead. Then we've got some split shots. An egg sinker will work just fine. And then we've got the hook with a piece of bait. And the way I fish this is note which way the current is going. Cast upstream and, let, and watch it drift while keeping a tight line. Let me show you. I'm, the water is moving to my right. I'm gonna cast to my left. And just watch. As this thing starts moving to my right, I'm just gonna reel it in a tiny bit just to capture that slack. And I'm waiting for something to bump it down. Where's the bobber? Oh, it's there. <laughs> oh my God. What? It's just... Sometimes I'm looking away and then I look back and I'm like, where the heck is the bobber? Do I have a fish? <laughs> but it's just right there. It's just... it's just right there. Now the float rig is really good for live bait, especially like a live shrimp or a live... Um... Oh, I did get bitten up. Got bitten up. So the float rig is really good for like live bait, such as live shrimp, live minnows, live just live fish, live... Live bait works great. <laughs> this works all right for live bait, but it's it's kind of limiting for it. Uh, whereas this is a lot more of a natural um, presentation for live bait. I was on a float rig. Nice. First red drum of the day on the float rig. What is it? It's a red drum. No, but it took my live shrimp. Nice hook set. Look at my rig. All right, all right, I'm coming. All right, hold on. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep you on the phone. Hold on. Okay. All right. So that float rig worked pretty darn well. Uh, I used a big old live shrimp for that. Good catch, Aaron. You saw that go down, right? Yep. What did it look like? It disappeared. Just disappeared, huh? It disappeared. Just really quickly? Yeah. Nothing, just messing around nope. with it? Good to know. If I had taken my eyes off of it, I just would have thought that I just like... I think that's what it. happened earlier. That's how we lost the fish. Take the high low rigs off. Put the, put the, the fish liners on. So the float rig is one of my favorite rig. So the float rig is one of my favorite rigs to use here, but so as the high low rig, and I'm going to show you how I set that up. I tied this rig myself, and I encourage anyone who doesn't know how to tie this rig to learn how to tie this rig. It's very simple, and once you learn it, you don't forget how to do it. it saves a lot of money, you know, four dollars a pack. You buy, you can buy this at the bait shop. Or you can just tie your own and save a lot of money doing that. Um, also, you can tie it the way you want it. That's another great thing. We offer tutorials on SenkoSkipper.com if anyone wants to learn how. For my high-low rig, I'm putting a, a shrimp on, a little two-aught circle hook right here. 
because I'm fishing inshore. I'm not expecting any kind of monsters to come out. But you see those pylons over there? I think that's gonna be a pretty fishy spot. Sheephead like to sit around there. Red drum like to sit there and ambush bait that are coming by. Um, I'm gonna cast there. I think it's a pretty sure bet. Now this can sit and wait. I think there's a lot of sheep's head over there. And honestly, I think the best thing to do for that right now is to target them with either some fiddler crabs or clams, some, some dead shrimp. Maybe give them a buffet of all three. Doesn't seem like the reds are really too heavy in here right now. I've been missing a lot of the sheep's head bites on the high-low rig. So I use the high-low rig for different things than I would use this drift rig. High-low rig I find works in a lot more places. This low rig I find works better on like flats or like places you want to drift fish. I also find that I catch different species on each. The float rig is more for ambush predators. And that's just for me and my experience here so far. So the primary difference is one rig is moving and one rig is not. It's a matter of where you're fishing and um, what kind of conditions are there. You're gonna have to judge for yourself. Oh, I got a fish. All right. That's a head shaker. Oh, yes. 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 A delicious sheep's head. Nice. I hooked it right there. Perfect. Awesome. So that's one for... There we go. High low rig. That's dinner. Let's eat them up. To anyone who hasn't tried a sheep's head before and you like fish, this is one of my favorite fishes to eat right alongside with the, the blackfish, tog. It's a really tasty fish. They eat shrimps and crustaceans and, and clams, all sorts of delicious things. So when fish have a diet of that, their meat tends to be similar to that. So it, it tastes really good. I just noticed it's got a belly full of eggs. Let's, let's release it. I don't like keeping the fish with the eggs in his stomach because those are the breeders. Those are the ones you want to keep out there because those are the ones that are making more of the fish that we can catch. So if you can help it, let them go. Let them grow. Let them produce more babies. It just means more fish for you in the future. The float rig works. Also the high-low rig works. It all depends on what situation you're in and when you actually use it. I think on a high outgoing tide, a float bobber could be very effective because the high tide is pulling your bobber out so you don't have to cast it too far because it'll keep the current will keep pulling it out. I hope you guys learned something and you're able to apply this to your own fishing at wherever you may be fishing. This technique works all over the world. You just have to find the right kind of water. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you need any more help, any more tutorials, if you want to learn how to tie my favorite kinds of fishing knots, the kinds of lures I like to use, um, I've got all sorts of different kinds of tutorials on SenkoSkipper.com. We've written about six or seven different ebooks on, on different topics around surf fishing, pier fishing, and jetty fishing. Check it out if you need any more help. See you guys next week.